Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and for those of you who might be new to my channel my name is Dr Yuande and today I'm going to be speaking to you a little bit about oral cancer also known as mouth cancer. So for those of you who might not be aware November is actually Mouth Cancer Action Month which is run by the Oral Health Foundation and the whole point is to raise awareness about oral cancer and I thought it would be the perfect time to make this video to explain exactly what oral cancer is, what causes it, the signs and symptoms and how you can check your mouth at home to see if you have any of these signs or symptoms. Due to the state of the world at the moment and the current affairs with Covid, lockdown and everything that's going on, a lot of people haven't been able to get their regular six month checkup with their dentist. So that means that routine checkups aren't happening as frequently and oral cancer can go undiagnosed. This is really, really unfortunate, especially in cases of oral cancer because early detection is key and it can actually have an 80 to 90% survival rate if it is detected in its early stages. According to the Oral Health Foundation, last year 8,722 adults in the UK were diagnosed with oral cancer. That's an average of one person every hour. The number of cases have doubled in the last 20 years and more people are losing their life due to this horrible, horrible disease. So what exactly is oral cancer? Oral cancer, also known as mouth cancer, is essentially when a tumour develops in the part of the mouth. So this may be on the surface of your tongue, inside your cheeks, the roof of your mouth, which is your palate, your lips or your gums. So it can literally happen anywhere in your mouth. So now you know what it is, you're probably wondering what causes oral cancer? Well, let me tell you, oral cancer does not discriminate. It can literally affect anybody. However, there are things that can increase your risk. Um, age and gender play a big part in this. So for example, it's more likely to be found in men over the age of 40. Lifestyle is also really, really important. So things like smoking, chewing tobacco, drinking alcohol and excessive exposure to sunlight can also increase your risk of getting oral cancer. Smoking is actually one of the biggest risk factors. So if you are watching this and you are a smoker, my advice to you is to try your best to stop smoking. I know it can be difficult and you've probably heard it a million times, but I care about you guys. So if reducing the amount of cigarettes you have and stopping smoking is gonna prevent you from getting oral cancer, then that is the way to go. Um, there's so much out there in terms of support. For example, the NHS, they have a stop smoking service and that's completely free. Um, and I've heard from patients that the Alan Carr stop smoking book was really helpful for them. So try and find what's best for you because at the end of the day, we want to reduce as many risk factors as possible to prevent you from getting oral cancer. So now we're gonna move on to the signs and symptoms of oral cancer in the mouth. So the three signs and symptoms not to ignore in the mouth are ulcers that do not heal within three weeks, any unusual red or white patches in the mouth, and any lumps or swelling in the mouth or the head and neck area. Other signs include difficulty swallowing, chewing or moving the jaw, um, persistent sore throat or hoarseness that's lasting for more than six weeks and unexplained loosening of teeth. If you do spot any of these signs or symptoms then I advise that you contact your dentist or doctor immediately. Um, do not delay because as I said spotting or cancer early is super super important in the success of treating it. Um, this is not to scare you guys by the way, I'm sure the majority of you watching this do not have oral cancer but it's just important um, that you know the signs and symptoms because if you are that person that does have it, this could literally save your life so it's really really important that we're all aware. So somebody who got oral cancer that I came across on social media was um, a lovely lady called Ellie Brown, she's an entertainer and I discovered her video where she was speaking about her experiences with oral cancer and if she had never gone to the dentist she would have never discovered that she had oral cancer. 
um, which literally changed her life dramatically. So I want to quickly show you guys this clip of her describing her experiences so you guys can just really understand that it can affect anybody and it's just really key that we detect it early and hopefully after watching this video you have a better understanding about all cancer and just know how important it is. If I had not been proactive in visiting the dentist and the oral surgeon, having my condition diagnosed, having them feel my tongue and my mouth, having them do an exam on my neck, things would be a lot worse off for me right now. Honestly, I wouldn't even be here. It's because they caught it that I am alive today. It's a very common misconception to think that if something was wrong in your mouth, you would just know about it. One of the reasons that oral cancer is so deadly is because people assume that if there was something wrong, they would feel it. You can have a tumor go undetected for a very long time, especially in your head and neck. And so I want you to take your visits to the dentist very, very seriously. The importance of finding an issue or a problem early is huge. Whether it's a cavity or a small bump, or maybe it's even just a discoloration, a color that doesn't belong. Maybe it's a problem with your gums. It's very common to find suspicious lesions. And fortunately, the vast majority of them are absolutely nothing. But as I know, that is not always the case. And it can happen to you. It happened to me. If I hadn't had qualified dental professionals looking in my mouth all the time, I don't even want to think about where I would be right now. I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't be making this video. So many lives would be saved if people would just see their dentist every six months. I wouldn't wish this on anyone, not my worst enemy. So hopefully from that video you guys can see how much of an impact that diagnosis had on Ellie's life and I wouldn't wish that upon anybody so it's really important that we detect it early. So now that you guys have all this information and you have a better understanding about what all cancer is and the impact it can have, I'm going to take you through how to screen your own mouth for oral cancer. Obviously, in an ideal world, we'd want you to go to the dentist to get a thorough checkup because dentists, we have to be trained to be able to detect this. However, because of the current situation with lockdown and everything going on, not everybody has access to a dentist and they don't have that luxury. So I'd rather people are checking um, at home for themselves rather than not checking at all. Hopefully none of you guys find anything, I don't want you to find anything, but if in doubt, do get it checked out. Um, so if you do find anything and you're just a bit unsure, please go to the dentist. Before we go into the screening, I just want to reassure you guys that there are some normal weird looking things that can appear in some people's mouths. Not everything is going to be oral cancer, so I don't want you guys to get scared. So I'll just go through a list of some of the normal things that you might see um, so none of you guys get scared. So for example, you have cheek bites, for dice granules, geographic tongue, fissured tongue, amalgam tattoo, mandibular tori, palatal torus, cold sores and so much more. So don't be put off if you see things like that, okay? Right, so let's go straight into the screening and these are the steps you should take. So firstly, you'll need to grab yourself a mirror. Next, you need to inspect your face and skin. Does anything look unusual or is there any swelling? Next, you need to check your neck. Check if both sides look the same. Are there any lumps or swelling that are only on one side of the face? Run your fingers along your jaw and really feel on either side of your neck for any lumps or swellings. After this you need to grab a flashlight. If you don't have a flashlight you can just use the light on your phone. Make sure to wash your hands and then check your lips. Pull down your lower lip and look inside for any sores or changes in colour. Use your thumb and index finger to feel for any changes in texture and repeat for the upper lip as well. Once that's done, examine your gums and feel around for anything unusual. Next, you need to check your cheeks for any red, white or dark patches. 
Put your index finger inside the cheek and thumb on the outside. Squeeze to check for any lumps, tenderness or ulcers. Next we're going to check the tongue. Look for any changes in colour or texture of the surface. Check the sides for swellings, changes in colour or ulcers. Examine the underside of your tongue too because these are common areas where oral cancer can occur. Lastly, we're going to check the roof of the mouth and floor of the mouth. So tilt your head back and open your mouth. Look for any changes in colour, ulcers or swelling. Make sure to run your finger through the roof of your mouth and repeat for the floor of the mouth. So now you have successfully completed the oral cancer screening on yourself. Right guys, so I hope you found that useful. I know it can be weird looking inside your mouth at times because it's an area that you don't really pay too much attention to, but it's really important that you carry out these steps regularly just to make sure that you're okay. Hopefully you didn't discover anything, but if you are in doubt, please do get it checked out, okay? Um, I'm glad that you guys made it to the end of this video. This means you are mouth aware and you know what to expect when you're looking in your mouth for oral cancer. And I really hope you guys can pass this on to friends and just share this video because you never know, you could actually save someone's life and it's just crazy to think that so many people aren't aware of oral cancer and the impact that it can have. If you guys need some more information, there's some great websites out there. Um, I'll provide the links in the description box below. If you did enjoy this video, please do hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel for more content. And let me know in the comments what else you'd like to know about um, anything dental related or I do make videos for people applying to dental school as well. I'm always happy to share more information with you guys. Um, that's it from me. I will see you on the next video. In the meantime, stay safe, stay blessed and stay smiling. <laughs>